my god, my arms are huge! Damn, it's been paying off! Alright, what's up guys, today we're going to be talking about the pools. Now, you know, coming into champs, about three days left, it's going to be crazy. Insane, out of the world, you know, any team can take it. Some of these pools are pretty good for the high seeds, some of them aren't. So let's start off with Group A, OptiGaming, uh, NXG Rapid, Vitality X, and Team Orbit. Now, obviously, with Opti being probably the best team going into champs, or at least one of the best teams, they should have this pool in the basket, in the bag. My basket's back there, don't worry about that. Uh, Vitality X, uh, I think Vitality is a pretty good team. Uh, nothing too crazy good, but they're definitely pretty good. Team Orbit's also a pretty good team. If they pull out some weird S&D strats and some weird, like, they start pulling out four LMGs and stuff, I mean, stuff can go pretty haywire. But Rapid, I have never, no idea, never heard of them, so... I wrote Optic is taking the pull. Alright, now we got Group B. Denial Esports, Hyper Games Team, Clarity Gaming, Prophecy. Now, Denial, obviously another one of the best teams going into this event. They've shown the past two events that they're really good. They got second in both. And they've, they've given Optic kind of a challenge. We you know they're a good team. Now you got Prophecy, a uh, pretty good team as well. They're pretty solid. If they show up that day, they can take out Denial Esports. Both of them. Pretty good team. Hyper Games, never heard of them. They're probably a decent team as well. Clarity as well. So I'm going to have to go with Denial taking the pool. But Prophecy can take the pool as well. Now with Group C, obviously coming up, we got Phase Red. Probably one of the best teams in this game as well. You know, they are the 13 and they have been proving themselves very lethal. Very. I repeat, lethal. Very. You got Fab Games Germany, a German team. You never know, man. These kids could be... Pretty reckless, pretty crazy, have some stress up the ass, you know, they could go good. Uh, you got Fave All-Stars, never heard of them, but obviously if they're caught champs, they're probably good. And you got AR, Automatic Reload. This team, uh, we beat them 3-1, or th no, we beat them 3-0 at, at Regionals. You know, we, went, we decided to go hard against them because it was our last match, and we 3-0'd them. Wasn't that hard at all. I believe we beat them first map by like 50 points, 60, 70 points in hard point. We like 6 3 them in S&D. And then uplink we like we like one but like seven like six five points. So they're but they are a good team online. I repeat online. But they can't show up. They're not a bad team at all. These guys have talent. I think if if they if they play their ass off, they somehow perform very well. They have a chance of taking out a phase red. If not, they will at least get second in their pool, which is still a good thing. Now we're going with group D, Optic Nation, Gamers 2, SSS OF Gaming, Exile 5T1. Who the fuck are they? I don't know. But I do know who Optic Nation is. Optic Nation has been a solid team. They have been playing better. Karma, you can't you can't let go. Karma, Karma's a beast. You got TP. TP is a beast. Very, very, very smart, intelligent player. You got Mir. I think Mir is a hell underrated. That guy is a beast. He's very good, especially in his job, what what which is like pushing cuts, pushing up, uh, slaying with the sub. He does a very good job. And of course, you got Killa, the mastermind, the best SD player in the world. I really do believe Optic Nation will be taking their pull. Um, I think I heard of Exile last year. They are uh, Australian. No, they're not Australian. They're a good team. I, I believe they're a good team. I don't know who Gamers 2 is or SSO Gaming, so they're gonna have to show up at champs and see what they got. Next, we have Group E, Envious. Team Menace, UX Gaming, Platronics, Mind Freak. Uh, I think Mind Freak last year was a good team as well. They can show up. Uh, Envy overall has a pretty good pool. Nothing too hard. Team Menace, um, they're beasts. These guys are monsters. Ridiculous. Uh, they could show up. They could destroy Envious. Then you got UX Gaming. I believe that team is very good as well. So pretty much groupie i have envious taking it uh, i think mind freak is gonna get second in the poll which is still a good thing so let's see what happens envious have been slacking a little bit but they've been picking up the pace they're starting to fix their mistakes and they're gonna see us in the race peace ace all right guys we have three pulls left now we're gonna go to group f revenge aware gaming infused three s up now revenge tr obviously a very good team these, this team got second uh, yesterday in the 5k. Uh, they've been performing very well. They're all very underrated players. I think they all have talent. Alco, I think he's very good. Nagafin, he's definitely good. Remy, he has his inconsistency sometimes, but he's a good player as well. And then Facenza, who's been playing a while, and finally people are starting to see he's having a spotlight that he's good as well. So this team can definitely take the pool. Um, they're very strong team. They're very very good team. So I really don't know what's gonna happen But I think TR will take this ball. They have a lot to prove they want to win They want to show the whole world that they are a good team that they can compete with the top 
top top teams. So I think they're really gonna go hard and they're gonna take the pew the pool. Sorry. Woo! Then you gotta work gaming. Uh very good. I think uh EU team. This team I think got I'm not sure, but I know they placed high at the regionals and people are pretty, you know, amazed at their skill. You know, they're not a bad team, so they, they should surprise us as well. You also have Infuse. Infuse last year were a pretty good team, and I'm pretty sure they have a good lineup to the, this year as well. So I would be pr I'm pretty surprised. I'm pretty amazed. I want to see what they got. But I really think Infuse is going to show up people and be like, pew, 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 we're Infuse. Oh, don't forget 3S up. I really don't know who they are, but I think they're pretty good. So we'll leave it. I mean, their champs are good, right, guys? Now, the moment y'all been waiting for, Group G, Phase Black, baby. Phase Black, hey, hey, Phase Black. Uh, that face stuff? Yeah, yeah. Phase Black, baby, represented Apathy Sensor Proofy Study. Now, a lot of people are underestimating us, and I love it. I want people to underestimate us. I want to be the underdogs. Why? One sensor's banned, Proofy was gone for a week. We haven't had much practice. We haven't had much practice at all, mainly scrims. So you know what? And we haven't even shown people what we're really made of. We didn't get to finish regionals. The event before that, we didn't go. So people are like, these guys suck probably. They're, they're probably going to underestimate us a little. They're obviously not going to underestimate a lot because they know we're good players. But in the end, I feel like people are going to sleep on us. And that's when we're going to hit them with the, boom, with the RKO out of nowhere. So I'm very stoked going to champ. Now in our pool, we have TCM Gaming. Very solid team. We've been playing them the past couple days. I played them 2Ks, 5Ks. Uh, we beat them once and then they beat us. I don't really want to explain how they beat us in the 2K. Oh my lord, it was so sad. I don't want to talk about it. Then we have Ascent Ascentia, which is a French team. Uh, they tweeted me, I tweeted them, asked who they were. And I heard they're a pretty solid team. And below zero, which is BZ. Uh, the only players I know is Wolf. And Assault. I don't know, some other players there. And they're pretty pretty decent team as well. So now this pool, obviously, uh, I think we're going to take it. Not because it's my pool and because I think we know Apathy is going to take it. But TCM, definitely a solid team. I think they're going to be our biggest matchup. It's going to be a very good game, probably very close. Unless somehow we somehow perform extremely well. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. So TCM could take this, but honestly, overall, I think we're, we're looking strong. Uh, we have a huge chance of being TCM. We played them, like I said. We know how they play. So hopefully uh, goes everything goes in our place and we just dominate. You guys have no idea how much fire I have going in champs. You guys know how many, how much I do, how I've been playing. Like, whew, I can't wait. Then you have Ascentia. Apparently, they're a very good French team. Obviously, us being Group G, which is one of the last pools. Uh, this team, we have pretty good solid teams in our pool. So I think Ascentia is going to be a pretty good team. And we're definitely not underestimating them. We're going to go hard as fuck against them. And then you have Below Zero. Um, this team, definitely just like us, underdogs. We, nobody's seen them play too much. Uh, they haven't showed all their true talent. And even though, you know, some of these people recommend them amateurs and stuff, you never want to underestimate anyone, especially at Champs, the biggest tournament of the year. you got to go hard against every team. But I really believe we're going to take the pull and TCM is going to get second. That's it. Now, I know I took a lot of your time, sorry for that, but we're going to go over to the last pool. There's a lot of pools this year, so I'm trying to go through it. Group H, TK, Epsilon Esports, Integral, and SB. My god, is this a stack pool. This is the hardest pool, and it kind of makes sense because it's the last pool. Um, T TK, definitely, you know, they've been showing, they should, they've been doing good on, on land, you know, they've been showing their stuff. They're definitely a good team, top team here. Sorry guys, I'm back. Epsilon, day one regional. This team is looking swizzy, swizzy good. Now, of course, they're in the last pool because TK got the last seed. So they're supposed to have the easiest pool. And they won the regionals for the EU side. And this team is really good. Mad Cat is a beast. Josh, Tommy. You know, all these players are very good, very consistent. So that's going to be a hard pull to really determine who can take it. You got TK, like I said, been playing really solid. SB, strictly business gaming. They have a lot to prove as well. Nazo, like, he just talks not stop about Twitter. Uh, Dito wants to win so bad. Fizzer with his little strats. And John, who's I think is a beast overall. And then you got Integro, which I don't think uh, we shouldn't really focus on that team. Not to be uh, discriminating or anything. I mean, they're probably a good team. But, I mean, you got these three top teams that are probably going to shine the most. I honestly think... I can't even tell who's going to take the pool. Like, it's that good of a pool. I'm going to have to go with TK. Just because I love them. They're my NA brothers. And then I'll say Epsilon's going to get second. Strictly Business can't get second or first. It's a toss-up. Like I said, a very, very strong pull. Lethal, deadly. I just don't know, guys. 
So that's it for all the pulls. I gave you all my predictions. I try to go as fast as possible, break it down, talk about all of the teams, talk about all of the pulls. I hope you guys like this video. If you would like me to do more in the near future, just tell me. And all I want to say, guys, hard work pays off. Make sure you work hard for what you want. Make they're here. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm out. Connor Jarv asked me, would I rather kiss Nate shot on the lips or lick Sensor's big toe? Well, first of all, Nate shot has some juicy lips. Low key, huh? And Sensor, I've seen his toes. They ain't nothing pretty. Like, when I mean ain't nothing pretty, I mean, like, I don't, I don't think I want to be near them when it comes to kissing or licking. So... I'm gonna have to go with a quick smooch on H shot. Let's just leave it there, guys. No comment, nothing, just, just leave it there. Do the Ricky impression again. <laughs> what are you doing? Push the bomb! <laughs> I just get stuck. <laughs> I just get stuck so bad. Study, what are you doing?